Hello everyone, this is part 2 of the gun tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to put a 3D gun into your game. Uh, you should have followed the previous tutorial where I teach you how to create your own gun. So let's take a look at what we are going to create. As you um, can see, we have loaded the gun into the game. And when you walk over it, the player picks it up. And left clicking will fire the gun uh, with recoil and a nice muscle flash and right clicking will zoom in and as you can see the crosshair is dependent on the gun firing and zooming in. Before we're going to start make sure you go to my website and download the engine 3D basic. Uh, just make sure you download the right package for your game maker version and when you have it extract it and open it. Now we're going to copy the game maker file and change its name to something like GM 3D gun. Now open it up and then we're going to start importing some files. So just um, start with the sprites. You can find the icons in here. The tutorial package 3D gun and then icons. So just add the icon gun, icon flash and the icon hub. Now we're going to add a new uh, map called sprites and add sprite crosshair. Then we're going to sound and add sound SN pistol and at the backgrounds we add the texture pistol and the texture flash and that's it for importing. Now loading and just drawing the gun somewhere is the first thing that we're going to do now. Um, first go to your folder and make sure the model pistol is also in the folder where your game maker file is. Okay now open up object main and we're going to uh, load the model. So click on load models and first we add a new variable called global model pistol. Then we copy this part and paste it in here. Just uh, change the light bulb to pistol and change it in here. And we are going to change the name to MD pistol. So that's all for loading the gun. So just close it up. The next thing is adding an object called object gun. Uh, just uh, change the sprite to icon gun and add a create event. And in this create event we are going to um, set the texture. So uh, type gun texture is background get texture and we type texture pistol. Now hit OK and we're going to go to the draw event and in this event we type d3d model draw. We're going to draw the model pistol on coordinate x, y and 16 with the gun texture. Alright, uh, now the gun is done for now. Go to the room and here we place it in the room and just uh, run the example. And as you can see, we have the gun in the room. So let's go back to the game. Now that the gun can be placed in the room, we want to, uh, that the player can pick up the gun. To do this, we go to the create event and then add a few variables. Um, the coordinate variables are there to change the position of the gun when it's in the hand of the player. The gun player bound variable determines if the gun is on the ground or should follow the player. And to change the gun player bound variable, we add a step event and we type um, if distance to object, object player is smaller than 8, we change gun player bound to 1. So this means when the Distance between the player and the gun is smaller than 8, the gun will go to the hand of the player. So hit OK. To finish it up, we go to the draw event and type this big chunk of code. The first thing that happens is um, the check on the variable gun player bound. When the variable is 1, the player has picked up the gun. And when the variable is uh, 0, the, player, the gun is still on the ground. 
Uh, the drawing of the gun in the player's hand can be pretty overwhelming, but I will break it down into separate steps. The set identity function just clears previous translations, so every time you start using translations, just run set identity before it. Add uh, translation changes the gun position slightly to the front right. Uh, the rotation Y rotates the gun up and down. The rotation Z rotates the gun horizon horizontally. And the final translation sets the gun to the position of the camera and the player. Now, and uh, model draw draws the model. And since we used some translations, you should set the coordinates to zero. Now, uh, let's go ahead and test it. Well, as you can see, we still have the gun, and when you walk over it, the gun gets picked up, and it follows your camera around. Let's build some functionality into the gun. We will make the gun able to fire, so I'm going to teach you how to add recoil, add sound, and a muscle flash. So go to the uh, create event of the gun, and add the following code. We're going to make a variable for the gun recoil. And we are going to add the muscle flash object. It's not yet created, but we will create it in a few seconds. Hit OK. Now go um, add a new event. Go to mouse. Global mouse is very important. And click on global left button pressed. Now we're going to add the following script. So uh, whenever the gun player has uh, picked up the gun, um, and he presses the left mouse button, the gun recoil increases and a sound will be playing. Hit OK. Uh, then we're going to add something in the step event. This will handle the recoil. So add gun recoil bigger than zero. Then we're going to decrease it. OK. Now we're going to the draw event. And there we will. Um, adjust um, the x va variable dependent on the gun recoil so just type this and that's it for the gun now that the gun is ready we will add the muscle flash object so just uh, change the sprite of this object name it object flash just like in the create event of object gun and change the depth to minus 2000 just make it uh, lower than any other 3d object now we're going to add the create event and we're going to add a texture variable so we call it flash texture is background get texture we're going to get the texture flash all right now we're going to go to the draw event and add a lot of code so this is um almost similar to the code in the gun but it has a few changes so first of all we are going to um, run this code in object gun we do that with the with statement and we disable the lighting so that the flash will always have its full color we change the opacity so that the flash will be invisible when the gun is not firing so um, we draw the wall draw a wall this is uh, the actual flash and after these things we reset the opacity and lighting again so hit ok and then we run the engine all right just pick the gun up and as you can see we can shoot now that we can shoot we want to add a zooming in function for the gun we're going to change the gun position and change the camera angle so I go to object gun and add the variables gun aim and it should be zero and gun aim value and should also be zero hit ok then add the event global right pressed and add this script so when the player has picked up the gun the value gun aim will toggle every time you press the right mouse button now hit ok then go to the step event and here you will have uh, to type this piece of code when you are not aiming, gun aim is zero and gun aim value will decrease until it's zero. When you are aiming, gun aim is one and gun aim value will increase until it's one. 
Uh, in the next part, the coordinates of the gun get changed dependent on the gun aim value, as you can see in the comments. And at the end, we change the global cam angle. We decrease it when you are aiming, so this will zoom in the camera. Now hit OK. And now we're going to test this out. So just walk to the gun, and when you press the right mouse button, the gun will zoom in. Now that the gun works, we have come to the last part of the tutorial. Here I will teach you how to draw a 2D aim cross over the 3D world. So we create a new object and call it Object HUD. Then we change the sprite and then we change the depth to min 10,000. It should be the lowest um, possible because we want to draw this over all the other objects. So then we go to the create event and add this piece of code and here we will make the Windows mouse cursor invisible because we don't want to see it when we have our own aiming cross. Hit OK. Now add the draw event with uh, this code. It may seem pretty overwhelming but I will go through it step by step. The first thing you do is disable the lighting because you don't want the 3D light interfering with 2D drawings. Then the most important function, set projection auto. This will set the projection to a true 2D view. Now we're going into the object gun and create a few variables. The aim x and aim y are the coordinates of the middle of the screen. The aim size variable is the size of the crosshair. Here I just used a little formula which makes the size dependent on the aiming and the recoil. The aim alpha is the transparency of the crosshair because when the player aims through the side you don't want to see the crosshair. Uh, then we draw the crosshair sprite at four different positions and angles and after that we enable the lighting again. Now we're going to add the HUD object into your room and then just run the game. So and as you can see the mouse is gone and you got the little HUD thing in the middle of the screen and when you shoot it uh, grows bigger and when you aim it will disappear and become smaller. So, And that's the end of this tutorial. If you want to improve your skills you can take a look at the challenges document. I've made a few challenges with a variety of difficulty levels so just uh, give them a try. Uh, you can also follow the next tutorial with, when I've made it. I will um, explain how to use a bullet collision uh, engine and when you combine that engine with this tutorial you will have a 3D gun that shoots down enemies. So thanks for watching.